Ohio's investigation about water quality. A new study is out which says that a toxic chemical was in our Ohio River water source for many more years than previously known, based on blood samples of water customers. Well, Local 12's Jeff Hirsch has a look at this new information, what it could mean for you. Most of us get our drinking water from the Ohio River. Most of us have probably not heard of a chemical which was in that river with a name so long it's simply abbreviated as PFOA. Scientific studies have statistically linked PFOA exposure to six diseases, including two cancers near Parkersburg, West Virginia, where people also get their water from the Ohio. Parkersburg is where a DuPont chemical plant manufactured PFOA for years and discharged the substance into the river. Studies suggest PFOA flowed down here and many of us drank it, particularly in northern Kentucky, where water treatment was less advanced than in Cincinnati. Well, there are two pieces of evidence that say that um, it's very likely that this, you know, the, the higher levels here were as a result of what was in the drinking water. Susan Penny is among the authors of a new report about PFOA in the journal Environmental Pollution. Penny was also involved in a 2005 study which found elevated levels of PFOA in a test group of northern Kentucky girls. The original study which we reported on last year said that the potential likely source of the PFOA in people's bloodstream down here was an industrial facility 285 miles upriver, in other words, the DuPont plant in Parkersburg. Now that study said there were other possible sources, dust, soil, no stick coating because PFOA is used in that, but this latest study is further documentation, further evidence that the industrial source upriver is indeed the likely source. This new study traced people who lived along the river as far back as 1991, 15 more years than previously checked. There's high levels of statistical significance that the people with higher serum PFOA levels drank water from the river. There's also a new measurement technique which further links PFOA to blood in our area to an industrial and not consumer product source. There is good news. Northern Kentucky, like Cincinnati, now has advanced filtration to take PFOA out. And Parkersburg stopped making PFOA a few years ago, so Penny says drinking the water now is fine. But what if you drank it for decades growing up? I think only time will tell if there are health effects in people. PFOA can stay in the bloodstream for years. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Earlier this year, DuPont agreed to a three quarters of a billion dollar settlement to resolve a class action lawsuit about 3,500 Parkersburg area water customers. The company denied knowing PFOA would harm anybody when it discharged and said it complied with appropriate laws at the time. Federal regulators did not require PFOA water testing until 2005.